Now, remember when you got this little tool and you're wondering what are we using this tool for? This is for when you only have a few that you need to do, such as these four. So I'm gonna drop these four in right where I can see them. Just to make sure there's this smack in the middle, boom. And I have three caps. So I'm gonna do these three right here, okay? Keep my finger there. So what you would do is, is instead of pouring a whole bunch of powder, you would scoop the powder out, fill it in like that, right there. Scoop some powder out, fill it in. This is so that you're not wasting by pouring a whole lot of powder on this tray when you don't need it. So that's the whole purpose of the smaller spoon is so that you can fill only a couple of capsules if you need to. Okay, see how it easily starts to fill those capsules? And that's what this tool is for. It has a little point at the end to kind of help push it down like what the temper tool would do, except it's more flat. And so that's what you would use this piece for. Hello everybody, it's me, Diamonds Knowledge, coming back at you with another great video. I talk about my life and the world around me. I also do product reviews and tips on being a better me that might help you. I hope you enjoyed this video, so let's get started. Hello everybody, it's me, Diamonds Knowledge, coming at you with another video. So today I am going to be making us some makeup powder um, capsules. Um, you know, we already had to make a powder. We had yellow, red, and brown slash black, whichever way for one you want to call it. And so I figured we've been having so much trouble getting it down. And I went out to Walmart and I bought some capsules. And you know, with me and hubby taking them, we're kind of going through the bottle really, really fast. So I figured I've got this big old bag of mixed makeup powder, yellow, red, and brown or black. And I could easily just um, make some capsules myself. So this is going to be my first time doing this. So I've got my capsule filler right here. And uh, it has the um, temper tool that will push it down. It also has the top of the capsule plate, the middle of the capsule plate, and then it has the spring-loaded capsule plate that holds the largest part of the capsule, and this is the alignment plate. Now, it also came with some instructions on how to do it and what you should have. It also came with a scraper, a little spoon like shiv kind of like what not shiv excuse me <laughs> we ain't about to stab nobody but like a spoon like thing where you can kind of angle the powder where you want it to go and a screwdriver because of course you had to put the handle on the um temper tool okay now i am using some now veggie capsules they're double zero veggie capsules and so they are not pre-separated. So I've taken the time to go ahead and pre-separate them. These are my caps. These are my bodies so already. Um, this holds 100 of them. So I think I've got about 100 of them done. Um, they were not really hard to take apart. I'll show you. And I'm wearing gloves because I'm not the only one that's going to be taking these. So is my husband. And I want to keep as much oil off of the um, capsule as possible, okay? And your body does produce oil, so that's what I'm talking about when I say oil. So the capsules are very easy to take apart, and I'll show you. They look just like this. They are on the bigger side. That was upside down, but they are on the bigger side. But they hold anywhere from 700 milligrams to 900 milligrams so that's perfect because we're taking um, hubby's taking 1500 milligrams of makeup i'm taking 3000 so it allows us to have to get more in without having to take a bunch of pills because right now i'm consuming six pills and he's consuming three so we can break that down to him only doing two and possibly only having to do about 
three or four, I'm good. So as you can see, it's easily, it easily slides apart. I mean, it's not hard at all. They literally just slide out. So as you can see, this smaller one will be the capsule cap. And then this part right here, the bigger one, is the capsule body. This is where you're going to put all the powder in it, okay? And the amount of um, milligrams in which they hold all depends on what type of powder you are using. And so if you're using a thicker powder, it may hold less. If you're using a thinner powder, it may hold more. Um, that's why you also have that um, temper plate that helps push it down, that you use gently to push it down. And so that helps, you know, you get the powder in there to maximum capacity without, you know, tearing up the capsule. So you see how easy it is to just really uh, separate these. And so I think I've got roughly about 100. I think that's about 100. Maybe a little more. The bag was... Um, has approximately 250 capsules. So I've done a little more than half the bag, but you can see this is about how much is left. And the bag is loosely packed, so it's not like tight. Um, this was $5 on Amazon. And the um, pill filler was uh, $18 on Amazon. So you can see uh, for a container of 90 organic makeup powder capsules, already pre-filled was like $5.34 at Walmart. However, online, it was three times that much. So I've got organic makeup already here, already in the bag, boom, got a whole bunch of it. So why keep buying the capsules when I can make it myself? And paying $5 for 250 capsules is a lot cheaper than paying um, $5 for 90 capsules and each capsule only held 500 milligrams and we're taking a large amount so i'm going to come back once i've got everything set up and ready for you guys to see the process so according to the instructions you have to put this alignment plate which is this right here over the body plate and the body plate is spring formed so it will fit right nicely into these little holes right here to kind of hold it in place Okay, and then you're supposed to pour in roughly about a hundred body capsules. So I'm going to shake a few in and uh, see what happens. And this is my first time doing this, so um, if I don't get it right, you know, I'm okay with that. Okay, so I think I've gotten about a hundred. You want to put your hand right here at this opening because it does... Um, have a gap for you to pour the excess off. So you want to kind of keep it together and kind of shake it. It's just like back and forth, front and back to kind of make them fall into their place. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to just like kind of like wave my hands over a little bit to kind of get them a little faster into there. I do have them gloves. So you want each one to fall into their slot the right way. And I already see a few of them trying to go in the wrong way. So I'm going to turn them around really quickly. And let's see, do I have every hole filled? No, I don't think I have every hole full of fill. So I'm going to keep shaking it until it gets every hole full. Get some off the edges to kind of see if I have any ones that need to be filled still. That one must have something in it. That one must have something in it. It looks like I might have all of them almost filled. Um, but whenever you don't have them all filled, you can always, you know, fill it yet by hand, which does take a considerable amount more time um, to fill them all by hand. Um, some of them are sticking up because there's some already in that slot. And so I'm just kind of filling to see if you know, the reason why it's sitting up is because of something in that slot. So it looks like I might have gotten all of them filled. We're going to just test really quickly. And the, how you test is you lift this plate off. You can pour your excess into your bowl. So all I did was pour the excess back into the bowl. 
okay and so I'm looking at my filler my body plate and I see that some are still upside down um, some of them are still have empty slots so I'm just gonna fill these in really quickly and then the way if, if you have some that are upside down I'm gonna take some of these off so that I can show you we'll take these excess ones off if you have some upside down that's the unique thing about this here this is spring loaded so that you can see the ones that are upside down just peel them out and flip them over so it looks like I only had four as of right now that I can see very clearly that are upside down and so I'm gonna take them flip them and put it in the slot now the good thing about this is is that I can see where I need more at so I can see that there are some open spots and so in those slots I will put some more so I have one right here that is upside down just take it and flip it over and then I'm gonna check for open spots so I see I have an open spot on this first row and then on the second row I have two open spots could be three yep there's three and so this makes it more easier to see on the third row I only have one open spot and then on the fourth row I was lacking three <laughs> look I didn't do enough shaking and um stirring you know but the good thing about these bigger ones they're so much more easier to handle than the smaller capsules yeah you're gonna be taking larger pills but it's a lot more easier to handle than the larger capsules. And then I'm checking the rest of the rows. They seem pretty much filled. And I'm going to push down the other side just to check. Make sure I'm not missing any. Missing one here. And let's do this one. Okay. All right. All in all, not too bad on filling it for my first time. All right, now that I have all the pills in, they're in their slot. Now you're gonna take, and you have this plate right here, which kind of compacts it all together. Um, but it also can be used as a shield for your powder. So you wanna start with a little bit of powder and this way I'm gonna take out my tools that I have right here. So this is the scraper. This helps spread the powder across it and into the holes. Then you have your scooper to kind of get into the little ones that may have gotten missed. And we don't need the screwdriver. All right. So I'm gonna put a little bit of powder in it and so I'm going to start with just a little bit of powder this is a half of a cup and so I'm just going to shake a little bit of powder on top so about a fourth of this half a cup this is what I'm going to shake on top and then I'm going to take my scraping tool and just go back and forth until it's all the way filled So I'm just going to go back and forth. It's almost like having a bonsai garden. You know how they have the old bonsai plants? And, you know, you go back and forth for serenity and calmness. And so then I'm going to start working my way around the edges. I don't want to waste a lot of powder. So I'm going to go really slow around the edges. And just kind of let it fill up. And just go back and forth making sure that I get enough powder in each spot. And I'm saying spot, not slot. So in case you wonder if I'm saying slot or spot, I am saying spot. All right. 
I'm just smoothing it very slowly. Um, this makeup powder does have the ability to cake. And if you know what that means, that means it can become clumpy. And so that's why I'm moving very slow to make sure that I filled all the holes. And then that's when I'll use the temper tool to kind of press it down. And then we'll repeat, repeat this process again. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm getting every bit of it into each slot. And I'm just going around the edges because you know, the edge, the ones on the edge are the hardest ones in my opinion to feel because you don't wanna waste your powder. So that's why I'm using this little sh plastic shield piece that came with it to kind of prevent that from happening. See how that's the caked up piece right there? So that's where the tamper tool is going to come in handy with um, making sure that each slot is filled. And so getting close to the edge, going to make sure I don't go over. Just kind of fill it in. All right. All right, so I've got it, to my opinion, what is completely filled in. And so I'm just gonna rake it one more time, just to ensure that I've got it completely filled in. All right. Okay. I've got it filled in. Now I'm gonna take the temper tool. Let's kinda scrape some of this excess off and onto the side and makeup powder is very very messy that's why we're doing this um because it's easier to take in pill form you don't have to worry about the taste um and you can get it down without because the taste to me is not what people say people say that makeup powder has a nutty earthy taste and goes great with coffee I say they lied. Makeup powder has a awful taste in my opinion and does not go great with coffee as I have tried it. <laughs> so, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the, the plate up, the whole entire plate, and this excess, I'm just gonna put it back into the measuring cup. Cause I don't wanna waste any powder I'm just scraping it and letting it fall back into the measuring cup. It's almost like being a chemist, you know. You sit there and I know that once I get used to doing this, I will be much faster at it. This is day one process. So you're taking your temper tool, which is this right here. It's got little holes in it that are gonna fit in over each slot. And you just want to gently Press it down. Just gently press it down. Give it about a good two press. All right. So I'm giving it a good press. And as you can see, you now have holes to fit more powder in so that you're getting that good amount. So now I'm gonna add a little more powder. Not as much as the first time, but the pretty, pretty much about the rest of my half a cup. Cause this is a half a cup. So I'm gonna pretty much use the rest of that and just fill it in again. Just striking up and back. Just going back and forth. Going around. Same process, repeating the same process again with getting the powder into the holes and making sure that each hole is completely filled. And so it's just, it's a time consuming process. However, you know, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'll be a lot faster after I get used to it. Again, this is my first time using it. So, you know, when it's your first time, you're not as swift and smooth and 
fast moving as other people will be. So I am glad that you're being patient with me. All right, so I think I've got them all filled again. So this time I'm gonna pour the excess off again and use my temper tool again to make sure that I press down on it and get it out again. As I said before, makeup powder is very, it's, it's a very fine powder, but it can also have caking as well. So it's fine, but it, it can produce its own clumps. So I'm just gonna kinda clean this off as best I can, get it to come around so that I can pour it all into. Let's see. All right, let's get most of this cleared out. I think it's gonna be good for us, um, especially with even with like other herbs and things as, such as that. Um, with the now veggie capsule on the back, it tells you um, which powders work best with their brand and things such as that. So I'm gonna use the temper tool one more time just to make sure lightly pressing. Make sure we don't tear the holes up like I just did. <laughs> Look, to make sure we don't tear the holes up. Let's try to see if we can do it this time again without the powder popping up on us. Let's see. All right, guys. Look, I said trial and error. This is how it's going to go. So we'll just keep filling it up and then I'll come back when I'm putting the caps into their slot. All right, so we've got the capsule plate completely filled and smoothed out. Now we're gonna do the capsules. Okay, so you're gonna again need your frame plate and your capsule plate. Now this capsule plate is for the caps. As you can see, it has little holes at the back to kind of hold the caps in. So you're gonna repeat the, repeat the same process. You're gonna take the cap plate, put it down. You're gonna put your frame over top of it. This is your frame plate. And you're gonna pour roughly about 100 caps into this plate. Doing the same process we did a while ago. Just pouring the caps in there. Hoping they don't go flying anywhere. And then we're gonna shake it around just to kind of make sure we've got one in every slot. You got, and you wanna make sure that they're not upside down as well. So once that you've done that, you've made sure every single slot has a cap in it. And so I'm gonna just move it around a little bit to kind of get them in. You want to just kind of shake it a little bit again. Put your hand right here so you don't come, come sliding out. You want to shake it a little bit, okay? Then you want to remove the frame. Any excess you want to pour back into your bowl, and then you want to check to make sure there is a slot in every hole, okay? So I'm looking. And I see that quite a bit of them flipped upside down. Now the caps are much smaller. Um, so of course, you know, you, I, I, could, I could have probably poured a little more in there to make sure a lot of them got more into the slot, but a lot of them kind of set on top of each other, you know, in a, in, into an already pre-filled slot. So you're just repeating the same process. It's just that simple. You're just repeating the same process, uh, checking your holes, making sure um, all of them are flipped open. So that's the open side up towards the air and not upside down. And so we're gonna pre repeat that same process as we get it filled. I'm gonna go over each hole and just make sure each hole has a cap in it. And the good thing about it is it does have that little piece at the bottom that prevents them from falling through, which is something you don't want to happen, which is nice. <laughs> um, you know, 
trying to keep this video as fast as possible but uh it does take some time when it's your first time so you just really just making sure you getting it right because we want to do stuff right the first time and so i'm just going just checking almost done got to flip a few more i think i did pretty good with the capsule plate as far as moving a little bit faster all right it looks like i got all of them filled let's see let's go over them really quickly to make sure that every single hole is completely filled all right okay let's see all right i just run my fingers over it to see if i feel any gaps it's a lot easier like that that way I can also get them in even and straight and that, you know, will help the process of capping them. All right, so each slot is filled. Now, according to the um, paper with the instructions, you're supposed to put this over top of your caps. So, yeah, just like that. Okay, and then you are supposed to, now I'm looking at the instructions, guys, in case you're wondering where I'm getting all this information from, I'm following the instructions. So it says put, put the plate on top, and then they said flip it upside down at 180 degrees. Have the body plate in front of you, okay? So let's try this, guys. We're going to flip, all right, and you're going to line it up with those screws that are there because that's what helps keep it in line and then it says you're going to push your hand several times to connect the caps and plates together and then you remove the cap and the middle place to ensure it's properly uh, sealed so i'm going to do it a few times one two three um yeah, maybe I didn't do it hard enough because I don't really see like any of them moving. Let's see. <laughs> Look, guys, I love to tell the truth. I didn't see anything happen. So I'm going to lift the cap plate that says. See, I have a couple of caps that are still in the plate. So I'm giving it a good press just to make sure that they all capsule in just want to make sure because uh i saw a few were trying to come up with it and so you don't want that to happen and so i'm going to lift this slightly to see if i got it pressed enough just and this is just a capsule plate for the caps all right and so i see i have one of them that got caught in it however the caps was complete so i can just take that out and then just kind of push it together to close it completely boom and so as you can see I have some that I've made here I'm just gonna put it in there all right as you can see they're all in there okay as you can see they're all capped so you can just go through and press it down now what's gonna happen is, is when you flip this little orange plate the capsules are going to be stuck to the orange plate, okay? So they will fall out, and I've cleaned my surface already. So in case they hit the table before I can close them all the way, which they will, I have a clean surface. As you can see, they'll fall straight on out, just like that, and just kind of push them out. See, this one's the one I kind of pushed in. Just push it forward. Boom. And now you got your capsules. Yeah, you can go through and just snap them. And they'll snap tighter to close all the way. And now we have makeup powder. 250 capsules. And it was cheaper than buying um, three bottles of the um, already pre-filled. Because see now I still have a ton of makeup powder left to use and I still have capsules and caps to use. 
And so we're gonna have enough powder. And like I said, the now 250 bag was five dollars. Um, they they do come in larger bags than this, but because it's my first time, I went to smart. We'll start with a smaller bag in case I didn't like the process. But the process was very simple and very easy. So as you can see, I got it done. All in all, for my first time making these um, makeup capsules and actually doing it myself, I found it to be very easy. Um, now, the website that was provided with the purchase of my capsule filler, it was in Chinese. Um, so I was a little scared when I brought my capsule filler, but the instructions that came were in English. So it was very easy to use. Um, very, very simple. Also, there's another video out there of how to do it as well, but it was very simple to do. So now I can make our vitamins that I need for things that I can save me money, such as getting um, discounted um, makeup powder, which is 100% organic. And I get to buy the brand of makeup powder I like and you know buy the capsules and create my own capsules versus um going with what um it was already done from somewhere else and i'm not knowing where it's sourced from so i know i've made these myself so i know that they're safe to take easier to take and um you know i just know how the process happens for us filling now granted i can't guarantee the process of what happened with the makeup powder, but the makeup powder I got was um, organic, gluten-free, um, non-GMO. So, um, you know, it had no fillers, nothing else in it, just straight um, makeup powder. So um, I'm hoping that, you know, with me making it myself, I can kind of keep the um, standard of care as close to organic and as healthy as possible. I did use veggie capsules, um, not the um, bovine ones. So, you know, that makes it even more safe. So um, there you go, it was really simple. Um, and I've got tons of capsules to show and to take. All right, guys, thank you for your time. Hope you have a wonderful day.